talk the talk, conditional probability. We've got some formulas to consider. Let's talk about the situation. The probability of a positive test for a disease and actually having the disease is one out of 4,000. So, and. The probability of a positive test is one out of 3,000. And then we can say 70 out of 100 people have the disease. The probability of B given A, okay, so A and B is a positive test with the disease, while A is the event of just getting a positive test. So if we use those identifiers, then it's possible to say that the probability of having a positive test with the disease is 1 out of 4,000. Well, the probability of having a positive test is 1 out of 3,000, which translates to flipping the fraction. The 3,000 goes to the top of the other one. 3,000 out of 4,000. If you divide, reduce these all by 1,000, you reduce down to 3 fourths, or 75%. Are testing positive? for the disease and having the disease independent events. So the probability of B of actually having the disease, so again, B is having the disease, is 70 out of 100. That's this fraction written like a fraction here. Or 7 out of 10, or 70%. Meanwhile, the probability of having the disease, given you had a positive test, is 75%. They are close. They are close in percentages. 5% difference between the two of them, but strictly mathematically speaking, they are not equal. So having a positive test and having the disease are dependent. Okay. What is the probability that they will make a second free throw? A basketball player makes two out of two free throws 49% of the time, and she makes 70% of her free throws. What is the probability that she will make a second free throw after the first? Why don't you pause the video and do this one yourself? I'm going to keep working it out, and then I'll share with you the answer. But you should see if you're able to use the formula, use your mathematical and probability thinking to get to the answer that I do as well. Okay, so you pause, you work, resume it when you're ready. Made the first, made the second, probability of making both, given making the first. So that would be... 49 out of 100. And then that's making both. And then she makes them 70% of her free throws. So we have 70 out of 100, which means 49 out of 70. Okay, are making the first free throw and making the second free throw independent or dependent events? So the probability of making the second is 70 out of 100. Hold up, no way, seven out of 10. This is also seven out of 10. They are equal. So is independent. Yo, this one was cheeky. Maybe you're pausing your back in, you hear me think about it for a second here. I got stuck on the 49 over 70 and thought, nah, there's no way that reduces. 49 is seven squared and 70 is seven times 10. So we can reduce them both by seven to get seven over 10 which is the same as her making percentages of free throws, generally 70% of the time, because the probability of making the second is 70% seven, seven, uh, and the probability of making the second given she made the first is also 70%. Those two events are independent. Thank you for watching these videos on, on conditional probability. More to follow, more around the conversations of different ways probability happens. Lots of good stuff to continue to seeing. See you in the next episode.